Hey everyone, wanted to make a quick video to go through how to download and get our studio ready to go. Uh, so simply use search engine of your choice, search for our studio. You're going to be going to Posit, they're the current developer of our studio. Uh, and you'll see that when you do that, uh, go ahead and uh, essentially what you're going to be doing is you're going to be uh, using the R Studio. Go ahead and click on download our studio. And you'll see that you first have to install R. Uh, so essentially uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to the website to download and install R. Uh, depending on whether you're on a Windows or a Mac computer, you're gonna select the option for either Windows or Mac. I'm on a Mac here, so I'm gonna use Mac. And on Mac, there are two major uh, versions uh, as it relates to software. So what you can do to see which one you have is go to the Apple icon, go to About This Mac, and what you're looking for is you're looking for the chip. You're either going to have an Intel processor or you're going to have uh, some sort of an M processor. Mine's an M1 Pro. You might have an M2, M3. If you're watching this later, you might have something a little bit newer. But regardless, uh, go ahead and get the version if you're on an Apple M processor like I am. You're going to use the Apple Silicon version. If you happen to have an Intel Mac, then you're going to use the Intel version. So just download whichever version is correct for you. Go ahead and run through the installation. So you can just kind of run through this real quickly. Uh, should be pretty straightforward. It's going to ask for the password. Make sure you enter that password in. And then it's going to be installing. While it's doing that, uh, it should be a pretty fast installation. Uh, we can go ahead and download our studio. So we'll go ahead and let that start downloading. And you can see that we've successfully installed uh, R. So we'll go ahead and close that. You can choose to move the installer itself to the trash. I like to do that just to save up a little bit of uh, disk use, but it's up to you. Uh, so we've already got the installer for our studio downloaded. Let's go ahead and run that. All you have to do on Mac is you're just going to take the R, whoops, you're going to take the R Studio icon and you're going to drag it into your Applications folder. Uh, so it'll take just a little bit of time to do. You'll see it just copies over. It should be pretty fast. And then once it is copied over, you'll be able to go into your Applications folder and you'll be able to launch R Studio. Okay, so to do that, I'll just show you real quick. You'll go to Finder, and uh, essentially what you're going to be doing is you're just going to be launching the R Studio. Okay, so you'll go into your applications. And from applications, you'll see our studio here. You'll launch it. You've got R installed. So it should boot right up and you should be at a good spot. Uh, so make sure that you allow it to open. That's pretty important to do. And yeah, that should be getting you to the spot you need to be ready for class. So I hope that was helpful. I'll catch you in the next one. Have a great day.